Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss some textbook problems in the chapter electrochemistry. Here one question is given that is represent the cell in which the following reaction takes place and the reaction is given here calculate its E if E naught value is given here that is 3.17 volt. So what actually the question is given that um, uh, an equation is given that is a redox reaction is given that is a reaction which is taking place in the cell that is given and on the basis of this equation we have to write the cell representation and also we have to find out E, e means uh, the E cell we have to find out and E naught value is given to us. So first of all how we write the cell representation. So we have already discussed the writing of cell representation. So let us apply that concept here. So first of all what actually the cell representation is written. First we have to make a double line that represent the salt bridge and the left side is representing the anode reactions and the right side is representing the cathode reaction. Okay, so the anode reaction means where the oxidation is taking place. So look at the equation where the oxidation is taking place. Mg is converted into Mg2 plus that means that is an oxidation. So that we have to write here that is Mg is converted into Mg2 plus. And when you look at here in the equation Ag plus is converted into Ag that means a reduction. So that we have to write on the right hand side of this representation. So that is we are writing here Ag plus is converted into Ag. So just remember that what it is converted that we have to write here Ag plus is converted into Ag. So this is the cell representation and in writing the cell representation if the concentration is given to us you can see the concentration value which is given here that is here you can see the value that is 0.0001 m that is the concentration of Ag plus is given and here the concentration of Mg2 plus is given. So that you have to write where you are uh, writing the cell representation. So Mg plus where is Mg plus? So there you have to write that value in the brackets and Ag plus in a concentration you have to write in the brackets here. So that is what the answer which is given here that you can find here what is the answer given here that is this is the answer that is the cell representation. So in this you can see that the concentration value that is Mg2 plus concentration that is written in the brackets here and Ag plus concentration that is written, written in the brackets in the cell representation. So this is what the cell representation. But here the question is asked to calculate E. E cell that means we have to find out the E value by using an equation that is called as the Nernst equation. So we will be using the Nernst equation. So what is Nernst equation? E is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.059 by 2 log of concentration of product by reactant. Okay, so this is very important that uh, you have to write the numerator and the denominator properly. So better learn in this way concentration of product by reactant. So what is on the product side? Mg2 plus is on the product side and Ag plus is on the reactant side. And also the stoichiometric coefficient that is a very important one. Stoichiometric coefficient here it is 2. So definitely we have to make a square there where we write the concentration of Ag plus. Now what we can do here will be substituting the values because concentration of Ag2 plus sorry Mg2 plus and concentration of Ag plus is given. So that according to this equation you can substitute the value and make a calculation you will be getting the answer that is 2.96 volt. So this is very important type of question that is a question based on Nernst equation. Now let us do the next problem. This is also a textbook problem. In this problem the question is asked like this to calculate equilibrium constant for the reaction at 298 Kelvin and the reaction is which is given here and uh, the values of that is the reduction potential values are given here that is for silver and for the copper it is given here. 
the question is to calculate the equilibrium constant so what formula we have to apply here because we already learned the formula that is e not cell e not cell is equal to 0 0.059 by n log kc this is the formula we have learned so here actually we have to find out equilibrium constant so in this term which are the terms is required that is we have to find out a equilibrium constant that means kc we have to find out and what are the values are known to us here because n is the number of electron and that we can find it out from the equation and e naught cell we can make the calculation of e naught cell from the formula that is the formula is e naught cell can be calculated by the formula that is e naught cathode minus e naught anode so we make the use of this formula and the reduction potential of cathode and anode that is given in the problem so it is very important that to identify which one is on the cathode side which one is on the anode side so for that you can look it into the equation what is the equation the equation in which copper is converted into copper ion that means that is the increase in the oxidation number therefore it is an oxidation ag plus is converted into ag why because ag plus means one positive charge is converted into zero that is decrease in the oxidation number reduction and oxidation means the reaction will be anode the the anode and reduction it is cathode so now from this it is clear that which one is on the anode side and which one is on the cathode side that is copper is on the anode side and silver is on the cathode side so that is uh, e naught cathode minus e naught anode means e naught ag plus that is reduction potential value of ag minus reduction potential value of copper so the values are which is given here so we just we will be substituting the values and by this we find out e naught cell now we make the use of this formula that is the formula e naught cell is equal to is equal to 0 0.059 by n log k c and what is the value of n here because how much is the number of electron transfer here that is actually from the equation we can find it out if you have a difficulty just split the equation into oxidation and reduction so you will get that uh, there will be two electrons two electrons are involved so the number of electrons which transfer here that is two so you have to keep the value of n as two so that is what you can see the value of n is written here two and the e naught cell value substituted and we make a calculation and we get the answer that is log kc value will be getting here and what is kc that is anti log of that value this value so you will be getting the value 3.98 into 10 raised to the power 15 next problem that is how would you determine the standard electrode potential of the system mg2 plus bar mg that means here we have to find out the reduction potential that is e naught mg2 plus bar mg we have to find it out so how we can find it out so as i told you that the standard reduction potential values can be determined by using the she that is a standard hydrogen electrode will be using here so that is what uh, actually when we have to find out the reduction potential of any electrode that better we can connect with the she and that it is connected with the she so we will be finding out the e naught cell value here because the e naught that is reduction potential value for she is equal to zero so from this uh, by finding out the e naught cell value this is the value we'll be getting e naught cell so from that we can find out the uh, what will be the reduction potential for this so this is we have already discussed for the case of zinc so just we'll be making the use of formula that is e naught cell is equal to reduction potential of a cathode minus reduction potential of anode and which one will be on the cathode here hydrogen will be that is standard hydrogen electrode shg will be on the 
cathode side and the uh, magnesium electron is on the anode side. So we we'll have already the idea that uh, E naught that is standard electrode potential for SH is equal to 0. So 0 minus uh, and uh, from this we can find out uh, the reduction potential value of mg by because this E naught cell will be getting from the cell from the cell whatever the reading we getting that is what are the E naught cell value. So from this we can find out the reduction potential that is standard electrode potential for the system mg2 plus bar mg.